Hi, you fam. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. We're back with another reaction. It's movie time here on How Horror Palooza. What's playing, Dan? We're watching The Howling. Yes. I've been so looking forward to this. We don't have enough werewolf movies. And you shall enjoy it. I've heard it's great, so I'm really looking forward to this. Cheers to you, fam. Enjoy. We're doing the Friday the 13th thing, huh? Dee Wallace is in a lot of dog type of movies, isn't she? I guess she is, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> Not Slim Pickens. Yes, that's Slim Pickens. Okay. <laughs> We've all heard people talk about uh, animal magnetism. We should never try to deny the beast, the animal within us. What an interesting conversation to be having right now. Did Karen see this? Yeah. Oh, she never even mentioned seeing the victims. <laughs> Don't worry, be happy. That's right. Okay, guys, this is the jackpot. I'm on uh, Western between Ivory and the Oh, she's wearing a wire. She's wearing some kind of a purple and lavender outfit. We ought to be able to spot her pretty easy. Yeah, I've seen her on the news. Well, she's popular. Why are they looking for her? The KDHB news team began working with local police to link Getty with a recent string of fate. Nice job, Kit Brockman. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it, hold it, she's transmitting. Are you wearing what I ask you to? Mm. Where's the sound? I'm afraid we might have lost her. You've lost the transmission? Like you told me you'd never okay. be out of contact with her. Now, what kind of operation are you running here? They have people in the area. They'll pick in the her area. up. What does that mean, in the area? They will find her. You better hope so. Hey, some weather we're having. <laughs> this is awkward. It's that smiley face yeah. again. Hello, Eddie. Oh, he's in there with her. I knew you'd come, Karen. We have a lot to talk about. Oh, my goodness. That looked a little non-consensual. Just a little bit. Can I turn around and see you? Not yet, Karen. Just watch. I don't think she wants to watch this. With your husband there? That's a weird thing to be doing. She didn't feel a thing, Karen. None of them do. I'm gonna light up your whole body, Karen. <sighs> oh, he's changing right now. Turn around now, Karen. I wanna give you something. <laughs> yeah, there's a broad that came in here. He's watching movies. <laughs> That's what you think. What the hell? <laughs> oh. Just blindly shot into the room? Probably for the better. As long as you didn't hit her. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have left that broad back here. Honestly, that's not what I thought was going on in there. Mm. Whatever happened in your own words, nothing newsy. I don't know what happened in there. I don't, I don't remember. She's traumatized right now. Was she kind of bewitched a little bit, or? I think it was just too much for her mind to handle oh. what she saw. Not a normal thing to go through, I guess. Right. It's me. It's Bill. It's all right. A little PTSD there for you. Just a little bit. I turned around, but I didn't see you. <laughs> all right. No more. No more assignments like that. Right. Well, he was a little obsessed. Huh. Just your average red-blooded all-American boy. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to draw werewolves. At least wolfish looking people. Yeah. Look at this. I wonder if this is a real place. I'll bet it is. It's not unusual for, for a killer to draw as well as that. We're trying to push Fred for a half-hour special called The Mind of Eddie Quist. So you found the last name? Signed his work? Oh, lucky you. Yeah. No, Ooh, here is Karen White. Good evening. Really? Oh. Uh, Everything reminds you of that theater. Get off her. Thank you. Get her out of there. Shooting. I'm sorry, it's just in my head. It's all right, it's all right. Oh, you can do more time. Just come with it. Who knows? Maybe she's pregnant. 
<laughs> That's your excuse. Can't remember anything that happened inside the booth? No, not really. Just weird little pieces in my dreams. That's interesting. I'm going to recommend that you go out to the colony for a week or two. I only recommend it to very special patients. What goes on up there? Seminars, group therapy. It's very low key. If you're pressing it that hard, it's got to be pretty bad. <laughs> John Carradine is a horror legend. Yeah, how about that? Look at here, look at here. Welcome to the colony. Thank you. <laughs> Charlie Barton. Uh, Charlie's on our board. He put up all the cattle for tonight's barbecue. Oh. Well, much appreciated. If you fellas don't mind, I think I'm going to borrow Karen and just give her the rundown on the colony. <laughs> now let's get this boy some okay, bacon. Hey, hey, no, no, say yeah, when now, on, you... Let's get this boy some bacon. <laughs> you want some? Yeah, sure, why not? You got some very interesting people at this gathering. It's a weird mix, isn't it? Yeah. I'm Bill. Yeah. I, uh, I'm looking for my wife. Why? So what actually goes on up here at this colony? I'm curious. I don't know. I know what she has in mind. Wagner. Hello, Masha. Take this book back. I don't want my brother reading it. I don't think he can read anyway. <laughs> Probably not. We can all learn a great deal from Masha. She's uh, a very elemental person. Is, it, is that so, what we're calling it? So a hippie, yes. Yes. It's like a gypsy colony. It feels like it. Yeah. Let me go, let me go. I want to end it. I got to end it. I got to burn. You got to let me The old man uh, should drink. Him. Really gets him loose. I don't think he was drinking. You get a good night's sleep. Everything will seem better in the light of day. Are these all patients of this guy? I think they are. How did that make its way into your dream? No! This movie's kind of weird so far. A little bit. Bill, we got there's something out there. Huh? Outside, something was howling. Honey, you were raised in L.A. The wildest thing you ever heard was Wolfman Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Not Wolfman Jack. <laughs> yes, this is the forest. There are creatures out there. She can't wait, get wait to get back to the quiet hustle and bustle of the L.A. Of streets, L.A., yeah. Where life sounds normal. <laughs> Well, I heard that. Yeah, stay inside. Is the guy just out here naked? Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. All the balls on my side of the court again. <laughs> what you ladies need is a good retriever. Oh, this Slam Piggins. Hey, all right. Now we're safe. Sam, this is Karen White, Karen Sam Newfield. I used to watch you all the time. You're a lot prettier than Walter Cronkite. <laughs> <laughs> I should hope so. We can all agree on that. Don't get many of you uh, TV people in here. Mostly it's your newspaper guys like to come in, look at the meat. I don't know how you can stand it. With his bird Ugh. next to the brains. Okay. Where is he? Uh oh. God, look at the door. I suppose somebody could have stolen him, do you? Didn't get up and walk out on his own. Uh, maybe he might he have. The cows around here? Charlie Barton's got a couple of acres of pasture just down the hill. They don't sound right. I'm not really sure how cows are supposed to sound. <laughs> not gutted? <laughs> I don't hear anything so funny anyway. Oh, my. oh Jesus. How on earth has that ha happened at the worst possible moment? <laughs> What's that gun? God! Just... Sorry to scare you, ma'am. Thought she was a cowjacker. Y'all look like you hunted the cow. What are you doing I here? I thought you had a session. I do, but I don't want you to go do this, not just for my sake. Besides, I've never been on a wolf All right, before. boys, this is a wolf hunt, not a coot show. <laughs> Some music is throwing me off a little. It's a bit too lighthearted. Yes. I hear something else. It's Eddie. And he closes the door. He whispers something to me and then he tells me I can finally turn around and look at him. Is she doing hypnosis? Seems like she is. I can't see him. I can't. I can't see him. Okay, okay, okay. That's far enough for now. Well, nice try. He sees a little more every time, though. The classic werewolf could change shape any time it wants, day and night, whenever it takes a notion to. We've got a dozen books on it. Who have you been reading them? 
What about killing it with silver bullets? Well, sure. Silver bullets are fire. It's the only way to get rid of the damn things. Whoa, okay. Well, that's not what the guy was wanting to burn earlier. Look at this. Silver bullets. Some joker ordered them. 3006. Never picked them up. I'll be damned. <laughs> well, that's just nice and convenient. Yeah. My sister will uh, cook it up for you if you want. No, I try to stay away from me. You kill something you don't eat, now that's a sin. Damn right. My sister will be glad to cook it up for you. Marsha just loves to cook. Okay. I wouldn't do it. I already got a bad feeling about this place. <laughs> Lucky we have it foot. Whoa. Uh, that's not why he's here. Nope. <laughs> You can have the rabbit, I guess. I think she bit him. Oh, no. Well, that's a little unsettling. Whoa! Well, I think he just disappeared. Just took a chunk of shirt and left? Well, it scratched him up pretty good. It happened so fast, I didn't even see what it was. Jesus, Doc, is that necessary? Can't take any chances. Seriously, I don't think that much of needle is necessary. Hello? No Karen, what? Between... You're kidding me. What is it? Bill just got bitten by a wolf. He's bitten by a werewolf. He becomes a werewolf himself. Thanks for the exposition. <laughs> Hello, good friend. Hello. Bill, I, I'm really sorry. I totally forgot about you not eating meat. Hey, no sweat. It's terrific. <laughs> well, he's used to it oh, now. Really? I get hungry enough, I'll eat anything. That grew on him fast. Look at him go. Very fast. What are you what are you doing? Okay, yeah, it's getting more clear. Bill. Bill, it's... He's gone. Screw you, man. It's just out in the woods in his robe. Alright, whatever. The call of the wild. For her. See, fam, I'm sorry. Once again, it's a moment that Dan and I can enjoy here. But, but you if can't. you want to enjoy it, you're going to have to watch it on your own. All them damn wolves out there howling. Enjoying the show. Bunch of gypsy ass wolves. <laughs> Aptly named movie, isn't it? <laughs> Just a little bit. Hello. Uh... Oh my. All right. It's kind of crazy. Talk about animal magnetism. Yeah. Oh, they're both going. That's actually kind of dark looking. Yeah. I gotta say, I'm not in the furry stuff. Why not, Dan? <laughs> There's that exact shot. Yeah, I think she just realized it. You're standing right where he was. Yeah, this is Eddie's home. Me thinks she knows too much. She knows more than anybody else at this point. Yeah, and she's not getting out of these woods alive. <laughs> Derry. Uh oh. Over here, Derry. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, go the opposite direction. Actually, I'm okay with that. That's why I'm watching. <laughs> It's daytime! The store owner said they can transform any time. Oh. It's a very interesting cabin out there. It's like a redneck cabin. Anybody here? Hey, that's that one woman's home. Marsha. The Marsha, yeah. And it's her self-portrait. Oh, mm. no! The freaking mangler. Got the same stuff. Oh shit. Oh, that's convenient. Oh no! She's already taken injury from it. Jesus. What thing is after her? Oh! Oh, man! Woo, it's pulsing! Ugh. 
Oh god, it's like a damn bullfrog. There was no beast, there was a man. She's not getting out of there alive. Well, where's the doctor? Hello. Christopher, you're not gonna believe this. Nope, he's not gonna. <laughs> that dream again. Because this time I think you were in it. Oh, he's all scratched up. Jesus, where'd you get those scratches on your back? I guess they're from the other night when I got attacked. They weren't there the other night. Hmm. Wait for Marsha to come back and say, I hope I wasn't too much of an animal. Mm. You know, you don't have Everybody one inch of backbone. She Karen. walks by you like a bitch and eating you. Whoa there, buddy. Wow. That's your wife. I'm gonna go over to Doc. Don't call Chris. Hey, no. You don't know what it's like. I don't want to know. There's nothing he can do about it, man. That, mo that wolf is in him. I saw pictures just like we saw in this room. The landscape is here at the colony. It's real. Look, is, is there some kind of file cabinet there? For God's sake, are you not watching another wolf-related thing? <laughs> oh, Christopher. It's oh! Oh. oh! Oh my, he's just there. Oh! Wow! <laughs> That's freaking scary! Look at the fangs on that thing. Look, I'll get a hold of the state, boys. And we'll Wolf Branch. Oh, <laughs> Knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. This thing's like twice her size. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay, that was relatively quick. She took it very well, though. I'll be kicking and screaming, man. Yeah. What a real <laughs> bitch. Oh, that was a real silver. I gotta check it with a jeweler to find out what the judge. Bill me. You took your 30 out sixes? Yep. I gotta use your phone. Where is the doc all Christ, day? What happened in here? Doc. Oh, my. Throw it out. That sucks. I'm sorry about your friend. This place has really come alive, hasn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh! Wait, how, what? Hello, Karen. Eddie. Oh, is that you, Eddie? I saw you die. That on the phone that you wanted to get to know me. But here I am, Karen. I didn't mean it. I want to give you a piece of my mind. <laughs> okay, <Yeah>. Jesus. <laughs> He's just gonna go right now. Oh. oh! God. Now that looks painful. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be a werewolf either. It's like full on convulsions while you're doing it. Mm -hmm. This is a really good body transformation. It is. Oh my god. Spindly fingers. Yeah. Oh my god! Ugh. Oh, it just looks painful. <laughs> Gotta like delocate your jaw. <laughs> oh! Acid? I guess so. Take Come it on. easy, pal. You know, uh, not all of us have got enough money for a monster. Some of us have to work oh, for a little. <laughs> Come on out of there now, miss. Oh, get out of here. Yeah, you're not going anywhere. Took some persuading, did she? Oh my god. It is a whole freaking wolf den. The whole colony is yeah. werewolves. Doc! <laughs> all right. No. Yeah, I'm one of them. <laughs> it's wonderful, Karen. When I was first bitten, I fought against it. And then we found the doctor. He helped us to adjust. You could have Bill back. There's still time if you accept the gift. Looks more like a curse to me. We should have stuck with the old wings. Crazy cattle for our feet. Humans are our prey. We should feed on them like we always done. God dang, they're psychotic. You have people that hunt you to extinction. 
Things have changed, and we haven't. Shut up, Doc. You make me sick. Masha. Oh, you're through, Doc. She's ours now. I guess she's challenging for the alpha position. That's what it sounds like. See what your friend did to me? <laughs> nice? Mm-hmm. We gotta make this look like an accident. I won't let you do this. <laughs> <laughs> You can't tame what's meant to be a wild dog. It ain't natural. Neither are you. <laughs> There's nothing natural about werewolves. Karen being attacked by someone with this kind of delusion and a Okay, that's just on the recording? Yeah. <laughs> what? Hello, brave boy. Where's Terry? Just down the ritual center. What did you do to him? <laughs> You know now. A woman with a sexy voice. Good God. Jeez. Well, they asked to a number on him. Practical effects are awesome. Yeah. Makeup is well done. Crazy. Oh, I'm much more than that, bright boy. Here. Take it. That's the dumbest thing you've done so far. Not again. Come on. <laughs> Do you just enjoy pain? Who likes being an animal? Damn. Well, that worked. Christmas! They'll kill you! Gun won't do you any good, mister. Well, shoot him now. Right now! Don't wait for it! Thank you. I have silver bullets in here. Silver bullets. Get the silver, all right? Yeah. Don't come any closer, Doc. Thank God. Yeah, he just wanted to die. Oh. See, it was a curse for him. Yep. All right, who's next? Well, now that you have the gasoline, we can just light them all on fire. We haven't seen Bill yet. That's true. Oh shit, I left the bullets inside. <laughs> oh no. When did he do that? Well, oh, they're trying to get out. Oh god. They're just desperate now. Mm hmm. Yep, there's more. Damn. There you go. All right. Oh, stop. It's Sam. No, that's one of them, too, damn it. Yep. Yeah. Got me. Run him down! There you go. I don't know how you got two of those off. You have to cock each shot. <laughs> what was that? are there? It's the whole colony. <laughs> They're going to get in. That glass won't hold. You have not reloaded once. Oh, oh no! no. Oh, you're day late and a dollar short, honey. Jeez. It was Bill. people chris damn you're just in the back seat no he's the one that bit her no i know that but he, oh. but he was just kind of hanging out in the back seat yeah i'm not sure i can go through with this you have to good evening more word on that fire that's burning out of control up the coast tonight out of control <laughs> it is california from the day we're born there is a battle we must fight what the hell is this an editorial that choice i'm about to say the what she's saying was it matching what i saw in the television he's not reading the cards a secret society exists and is living among all of us. That's enough. Cut. Cut. Leave it! But I have proof, and... She is. All right, I'm going to sh yep. show you something. Eyes. You going to go through it? Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you kids watching? The newsletter's turned into a werewolf. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs>
Not quite as scary as the other ones. No, that's actually a very nice looking werewolf. Like you walk him indoor. Wow. Switch! Switch, damn it! Switch! Why would you do that? The ratings are awesome. <laughs> Doesn't that look good? Come on! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ernie, put a pepper steak on for me, will you? And a hamburger for the lady. How you want it, honey? Oh. Raw. Rare. Close enough. Hey, you got my vote. Let's eat up. Good movie. That was fun. Yeah, it was. <laughs> my God. Bunch of gypsy ass werewolves. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite part of this outside of the uh, body transformations there, mm -hmm. or the horror transformation, were the puns. <laughs> the, yeah. Straight up. The, the amount of people watching something on dogs, wolves, dog food, a wolf brand chili. <laughs> The books they were reading, the cartoons, I loved and it. Watching all. the Wolfman with Lon Chaney. It's like incredibly deliberate, too. Right. Well, you know, that's fair because the other big movie that came out in 81 was uh, Werewolf, American Werewolf in London. What that had, they had every song in that, in that show it had a wolf oh, yeah, thing to it. Bad Moon Rising and yeah. Blue Moon. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't hear any of that this time. It kind of bothered me a little bit. I think you could have used like Werewolves of London or something. Well, I think this one was trying to go more for suspense, whereas the other one was more comedy. There were times though, I feel like they missed the mark on that suspense. Like you had some like very like, like you called it lighthearted music while they were out hunting. Right. Uh, so there, there were times it's like, what, what are you going, what are you trying to go for here? It, it has these comedic moments, like the scene where the first guy gets shot with the silver bullet and the other ones all look up at the same time. Like, right? When they were like full on, full on wolf, Yeah. they were scary looking creatures. I love those designs. They kind of remind me of the ones from Dog Soldiers, but a little bit hairier. Mm. Yeah, the ones in Dog Soldiers, they were just straight up psychotic. Though. Like, yeah. These ones were, to a sense too, but they operated very much in a communal sense. Like a wolf pack, if you will. Well, I mean, so did those, but you're right. They, there's a whole colony of werewolves. Somehow they've managed to live together all these years. And I kind of see what the doc was going for there about, you know, we need to you know, accept the fact that our lifestyle is not going to work. If we go into town and we start murdering people like Eddie was, eventually people are going to find us and kill us and we'll be extinct. Whereas at least out here in your own little group, you can survive. Granted, you're not, you know, doing what you want to do. You have to live off of cattle, like they were saying, but at least you're alive. I can't believe they had a problem with that. that I mean, they, they had a good thing going out there, if you ask me. They get it in their heads, I guess, so much that they're better than everybody else, I guess. And that these people, because I heard them say it, you know, mm -hmm. it's like, we shouldn't be looking at these people like they're our equals. You know, they're our, ca they're our cattle. Right. So you get that mentality in your head and the and the life that you have that's good right now no longer means anything. Well, it's that animal instinct. You know, you, you want to be at the top of the food chain. And of course, you know, because of their abilities, they are in some way superior to humans in that respect. I was about to say, they don't make silver bullets like they're full, like they're growing on trees. Right. But like the whole conversation that the doctor is having at the beginning of this film, where he's talking about, you know, how animals behave and, you know, the animal inside people is very representative of what they're dealing with out there in this colony. Because, you know, they are animals at heart and they're trying to repress that and it's not working for them. Oh, good point. I was wondering what he was going for out here. Yeah. all this time too it felt like you were going through some kind of hypnosis with her to to help her cope with it and deal with what, what she had seen there mm -hmm. when all of a sudden it's like no you were going for something much more here all, all along i kind of feel like he was trying to figure out what all she knew that way if she did know the truth about eddie and that he was a werewolf it might be a liability for the colony mm. at least that's my my guess i don't think they ever outright say it but... okay no, but I'll tell you what, Eddie's, uh, that transformation he had, that was something else. That, that was good. Yeah. That was Ralph Botton. From the thing, yeah. Was it really? Yeah. Oh, wait, that was his, uh, that was his designs. He, yeah, he's his characters. Masters, yeah. Okay. That makes a lot of sense now. You can see the similarities in the body horror there. Definitely. Uh, Eddie was actually played by uh, Robert Ricardo, who was, a. Uh, he played the doctor on Star Trek Voyager. Okay, I was sitting here like, why do I know you too? Yeah, he's, he's the, the medical hologram. Yeah. Yeah didn't even recognize him until you said something. It's a big shift in character, too. Yeah. <laughs> like, wow, that is different for you. <laughs> I say that, but he's a professional actor. Yeah, he goes from a psychotic lunatic who kills people as a werewolf to, you know, a friendly doctor. Absolutely. In a way, he kind of was still. He's still in the doctor's office. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's your excuse. Hey, man. <laughs> he does surgery with his teeth, yeah. Uh, only gypsies would. <laughs> right. 
that was really something else. I, this was a fun movie. It's funny you keep bringing up gypsies too, because that is kind of the old tradition. If you go back and you, I don't know if it's in the new one, but if you look at the old Wolf Man, Lon Chaney becomes a werewolf by getting bitten by a gypsy who was a werewolf. It kind of is like an old tradition that the werewolves come from gypsies. That's interesting. I mean, it's it's very much like a moon colony. So yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah, that's that's a gypsy thing. So it would make sense that werewolves belong to gypsy lore. So yeah, if that's the case, but I. I went, what the hell do I know? So I, yeah. I watch movies. <laughs> yeah, this movie is, besides the fact that it's got really good special effects and everything, this movie's you know, big to me because when I was a kid, I watched a lot of horror films and stuff like you know, Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street. None of that stuff ever really scared me. This movie actually gave me nightmares. Really? The creature designs, the, the dark atmosphere in the woods, the isolation and everything out there. I've said in other movies that one of my biggest fears is like being eaten alive. And of course, how do werewolves kill you? They eat you. So yeah, this this was a influential movie on me as a kid. Wow, Dan, we unlocked your fears. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna need to have we're gonna put you in hypnosis next. Okay. And you'll be seeing Eddie there in the dark, you know, making you watch uh, lewd movies. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> as he gives you a shoulder massage. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I took that too far. I'm sorry. <laughs> Did this movie unlock that fear for you? That being eaten alive fear? Oh, I think it's between this and Jaws. They both kind of work together to do that. Okay. But yes, I distinctly remember having nightmares as a child about being chased to the woods by werewolves at night. So yes, that'd be the way to go there too. One of the uh, one of the horror elements that I thought they did well with mm -hmm. was there were times where they let the silence be part of the atmosphere. Oh yeah. They just let the environment be what it is. Like she's when that one lady's walking around the cabin. Yeah. And it's just dead silence for her camera. Yes, and yeah. there are patches of darkness everywhere. Yeah. It's like, wow, this, because you can really feel like that, like it's closing in on her. Yeah, when it wants to, the movie has really good atmosphere. And then there's other times where, you know, it is more on that comedic side. It's just kind of showing you everything. But it can be atmospheric when it wants to be. Yeah. It was fun. This was actually my first time watching it. So it was fun. I enjoyed this. It's good, too, because we don't, we don't have enough werewolf movies on our, uh, on our channel here, and we needed more. So. Honestly, I would argue there's not enough werewolf movies in general, at least good ones. There are a few out there. We'll get to them. And certainly there's no, a dozen sequels to this thing, but they all suck. Hmm. Well, thanks. I, I guess I don't need to bother <laughs> then. <laughs> so, they certainly don't live up to this one then. Okay. Right. Fair enough. Well, fam, I think we're good there. Uh, movie speaks for itself, and we're going to let it do just that. But as always, if you're brand new to the channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing and help us grow. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and hit the bells to receive notifications every time we drop a new one. And should you feel compelled to give us a piece of your mind, do so in the comments. While you're at it, take a look at us on our socials. We're on Instagram and TikTok. See what we're up to over there, guys. But as always, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. We'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you, Dan. Cheers to you, Joe. Later.